Google Web Toolkit Create Project by Brandon Donaldson. First, find the Google icon at the top left. Select New Web Application Project. Select a project name and a package name. In this case, we'll name it something generic. My Sandbox. Package tld.domain.project. I don't usually like spaces in my project name, so I'll remove that. Otherwise, it'll create an underscore. Not my favorite. Name it what you like. Then you can select the Google SDKs. You can use App Engine or not, depending on your hosting environment. You don't have to host it on App Engine. Works with Apache Tomcat quite well and Jetty. Use the Google Web Toolkit. You can use. Um, you don't have to necessarily use it. To, you can use use a war container, stick your HTML and XML files, or Flash, whatever it might be. It works great for everything. You can see the demo that they set up is set up by a template. And you'll see greeting service is an RPC, greeting service async, RPC my sandbox is the entry point class, greeting service implementation is the service side where the servlet intercepts the RPC calls, JDO configuration for the persistence on App Engine, test, you can set up regression testing there. My sandbox CSS and HTML, the static, not the static, the entry point, HTML entry point, welcome page, I should say. Web XML is the configuration for the servlet container. Or maybe, I'm not sure if that. Okay, I forgot to set up the Java formatting. I like to take out the tabs and replace it with space spaces, which is a bit more Googleish. It's easier to scan on a laptop from left to right. It doesn't shoot out as far. I like that, so I'm going to name it Googleish. Hit OK. There we go. It select spaces and select the indentation size of two and tab sizes too. You don't have to do this, but I, I just wanted to show it so it'll represent my demos better. It's more concise, I think. Okay. First thing I like to do always is test my project setup before I edit anything. The console runs below, it's hidden, so I maximize that window. I don't see the development tab, so I see it's up in the upper right. I drag it down, and there we go, is the debug hosting link. It opens the browser. Since Google Web Toolkit is first run, we need to install the plugin or extension for the browser to run the debug mode. Okay, it's installed. Refresh or reload the browser and it will load the debug hosted development version. Here we go. Here's the demo they set up. Sends a little quick RPC call with the name, comes back, and close. And there we go. We have the first project set up. Thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. If you want to see more GWT examples, demos, and source, visit my wiki.